Christmas gift theft. I really don't try to focus on the negative. I just keep positive, you know, remember what Christmas is really about. We're fighting back tonight. What you need to know to keep thieves away from all your new presents. Plus, gift return warning. Why returning an unwanted gift could be more of a hassle this year. And a Christmas tornado. The severe weather that's creating travel headaches all over the country tonight. And that's where we start our newscast this evening. Our top story is the Christmas Day weather that brought winds and cold temperatures to Central Texas today as we take a live look over downtown Austin tonight. That same system brought snow to parts of North Texas. Baby, it's cold outside with temperatures expected to stay below the freezing mark overnight. So let's get straight to Chief Meteorologist Troy Kimmel. And Troy, it certainly feels like Christmas this evening. Certainly feels a lot more like it, Kate, than it did earlier today. As you mentioned earlier at 6 o'clock, you were out with near 70 degree temperatures yes, yes, yes. at midday today. Boy, that changed in a hurry. It took a little bit for that cold front to move south. But once we got into early and mid-afternoon, late afternoon especially, the temperatures really began to fall. Take a look at clouds and uh, precipitation. Now, no precipitation show you anywhere but we've been kind of playing heck tonight with this uh, area of clouds it's been on the southwest side of the big upper level storm system which is centered just kind of northwest the Arklatex up northwest of Shreveport this evening with the north winds at the surface is bringing some clouds to the south they continue to come down into south central Texas and pretty much divide the area in half anyway this evening and we've got to get these clouds kind of clear out now I still think they will overnight and we'll see temperatures fall below freezing in most areas even downtown Austin likely to see a light freeze tonight. No precipitation expected. This whole system will finally clear out of here. At least uh, the clouds will, I think, in the overnight hours. Plenty of sunshine due for tomorrow across the area. Look at temperatures in the 10 o'clock hour. Already 31 at Round Rock. It's 32 at Pflugerville, 32 at Maynard, 34 at Bergstrom, 33 at Camp Mabry, 32 high on the hill at Lago Vista out at Lakeway, 34, and about 35 degrees right now in Rollingwood. Planner for tomorrow, plan on a jacket. You're going to need it. We got the sun. Sunshine will start off below freezing first thing tomorrow morning into the mid 40s for afternoon highs and another rapid fall in temperatures and another freeze likely for tomorrow night as well across south central Texas. Kind of a topsy turvy weather pattern. Any rain in the forecast? We're going to talk about that coming up in your forecast just ahead. Thank you. And those high winds Troy was talking about helped whip up a small grass fire along I-35 in Round Rock this afternoon. Firefighters were able to get the flames under control quickly before it caused any real damage. Neighbors in southeast Austin found a body inside a car this morning, and tonight homicide detectives are calling the death suspicious. It happened in the 3000 block of Royster Avenue that's just north of the airport. KITV's Cassie Gallo talked to neighbors who got a Christmas surprise they never expected in this normally quiet neighborhood. Catherine, this is the location where a man was found dead in his vehicle. Neighbors say the SUV had been parked here for several days, and when they came out to find the body this morning, they were shocked on Christmas Day. They yelled inside to, you know, see if he would wake up, and he didn't. Neighbors were first to discover a man found dead in this SUV. And he was just, like, laid back in the passenger seat with the jacket over him. It's very frightening to know that something like this just happened. Neighbors called police around 11 o'clock this morning. A male subject w uh, was uh, discovered in the vehicle uh, and deceased. Homicide was called out to the scene to conduct their investigation. Police say the body was that of a Hispanic man in his mid-40s. The cause of death still unknown. The incident will be classified as a suspicious death. Uh, pending the, the ruling from the medical examiner's office. Neighbors we spoke with say this neighborhood is usually pretty quiet. Very scary, um, especially with having, you know, young kids around, you know, you never know what they could have saw. It's a big shock, like, you know, this never really seen that. We've been here for about over 20 years and, you know, it's the first time we've seen this on the street, so it was really a big shocker to everybody. When neighbors woke up this morning, they went to check on the SUV. What they found was startling. It, we've just been kind of shaken up um, with this whole situation. It's pretty sad seeing that it's Christmas and, you know, that's what you find and it was sad. Police, of course, are still investigating. The body has been sent for an autopsy, and as soon as we know more details, we will let you know. And if you know any information, you're asked to call the police. Reporting in Southeast Austin, Cassie Gallo, KI TV News. Yeah, hopefully we'll have more answers soon. Thank you for the update, Cassie. And police say they have identified the man, but that information has not been released yet. Well, tonight, a Christmas edition of Fighting Back. During the holidays, it's very simple to forget how to protect against theft and how 
fast those new presents can be stolen. KTV's Adam Rakusen breaks down tips from the Austin Police Department on how you can fight back against Christmas thieves. A twinkle from the lights on the tree, shining bright over all the goodies unwrapped this Christmas. It was good, spending a lot of time with the kids and enjoying the day. Lots of presents? I got a few, yeah. At my age, you don't get too many, but you're, you're happy to get a few, and so I'm happy with what I got. But those presents you cherish could be a target for a Grinch looking to cash in on your holiday hoard. I really don't try to focus on the negative. I just keep positive, you know, remember what Christmas is really about. There is the worry you could let your guard down. Across the country, the potential for thefts and robberies increases during the holidays. This Christmas, the Austin Police Department is sending out holiday tips on how to avoid any unwanted welcome visitors. Police say keep your valuables away from the windows and doors. Pricey pieces of electronics sitting in a window can be an easy target. Close and lock all windows and doors before you head out. Just keep my door locked. That's it. You know, I don't worry about anything else. And close window shades and blinds when no one is at home and before you go to sleep. A way to prevent people from window shopping when you're not paying attention. In the car and stuff, you make sure nothing's out. And nothing out in plain sight. Police also recommend breaking down boxes and putting them in a recycling or trash bin that closes. If they can't see just what Santa brought, they may just move on. And some of the same tips go for leaving anything in the car. Maybe you want to show off the new gifts. Just try to make sure you don't leave anything in plain sight. If you see somebody looking through the window, call the police and have them come check it out. Police also recommend taking an inventory of your gifts with the serial numbers just in case the Grinch comes and tries to spoil your holiday. Adam Rakusen, KITV News. All good advice. Thank you very much, Adam. Now, if you want to track crime trends in your neighborhood down to the address, just go to KITV.com and click on Fighting Back. Dozens of people displaced by that massive fire in northwest Austin last week are getting help. The fire destroyed 68 units at the International Residence Apartments near 183 in Anderson Mill last Thursday morning. Many residents were able to escape with only the clothes on their backs. The Salvation Army is offering $500 vouchers to residents of each unit. They're redeemable at the family store on South Congress, and officials say residents only need to show their IDs to obtain their vouchers. As temperatures drop tonight, the Salvation Army is working to keep Austin's 5,000 homeless out of the cold. The nonprofit has partnered with the Arch and Capital Metro to provide a warm place to stay in an emergency shelter for the night. KITV's Christy Post shows us the Christmas present the homeless received earlier today that most of us take for granted. It's a decades old tradition, a chance for the Salvation Army to spread some holiday cheer. Usually they have their best smile put away for something like this. With ham, sweet potatoes, and 480 pieces of pie, around 400 people are getting the gift of a warm meal. It's good, I like it. I'm probably giving me another plate too. It's a blessing, a big blessing, and I thank God. The nonprofit spends a little over $2 on each meal, which allows them to provide 1,200 dinners. Merry Christmas. Julius Bird is spending his first Christmas at the shelter. I ain't see myself doing this, but I guess in the time of need. After moving from Wisconsin to Austin, he was unable to make ends meet and wound up on the street. I need a place to stay. And Salvation Army opening arms told me. It's stories like his that has Laura Lund wanting to volunteer her time. You know, these do not seem like people that don't have dreams and plans for the future. They're just a little down on their luck right now. This Christmas, Julius's luck has turned around. He's calling this meal a gift of love, a special start to his new life with a job, and now... I get my own place starting tomorrow after Christmas, so therefore, yeah. Christy Post, KITV News. Story, Christy, and the Salvation Army Shelter says it's at capacity 365 days a year. The nonprofit is happy to say it does not have to turn anyone away tonight since they're opening that emergency shelter. Well, a new Christmas tradition was born today in South Austin. A group calling itself the ATX Christmas Dinner Bash visited the Southwood Senior Center this afternoon. About two dozen volunteers got the seniors out of bed, sang Christmas carols with them, brought in pets for them to play with, and got them into the Christmas spirit. A lot of the, uh, the residents don't get a lot of family 
during the holidays and um, you know a lot of the people here don't have family to see during holidays so it kind of brings both groups together and, uh, and, and they've been really receptive. This is the first year for the Christmas Dinner Bash, and organizers hope to make it happen again next year. Sounds like the beginning of a great tradition. Well, gift return problem. Next, why it could take longer than expected to get cash for those unwanted Christmas gifts. Plus, scary note, the chilling message the man accused of shooting two firefighters to death left behind. Also ahead, Christmas funnel cloud, the severe weather causing damage all over the country, and a very, very chilly night. Troy is tracking how low the temperatures will go here in Central Texas overnight and into the morning. Beauty Fix Risks, Thursday at 10. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. From KITV News. Happy holidays. It's Honda clearance time from your Central Texas Honda dealers. No matter where you live in Central Texas, people are saving thousands on a new Honda. Civics, Accords, Pilots, Odysseys, and more have big clearance savings. Or save even more with low 0.9% financing. The time is now because the savings are really adding up at your Central Texas Honda dealers. Shop 24-7 at TexasLovesHonda.com. Texas Loves Honda. It's Star Furniture's end-of-year event. Incredible year-end sale prices. Plus, take an extra 15% off everything. Plus, free financing. Prices are at rock bottom, then go 15% lower. And that's on Star Quality Furniture you won't see everywhere else. The end-of-year event. Star Furniture. Different by design. Ain't seen nothing yet. It's Bell's After Christmas Stock Up Sale and Clearance. Right now, when you buy one pair of shoes, get half off the second pair. Plus, great denim style for the whole family, just $26.99 to $29.99. Save even more with your 20% off coupon. It's on now at Bell's. This is it. Our best prices of the year at Nile Maxwell GMC. Our biggest sales event. Zero down, zero percent financing up to 72 months, plus no payments till February. This is it at Nile Maxwell GMC in Ron Rock. From East Africa, Afghanistan, London, Washington, the Kennedy Space Center. For all of us at CBS News, all around the world. A world of original reporting every evening. The motive behind the killing of two firefighters in upstate New York may never be known, but we are learning more about the man who did it. Police believe the Christmas Eve fire in the town of Webster was set by William Spangler, the man who shot and killed two firefighters from a bank across the street from the burning homes before taking his own life. Spangler left a note saying he planned to do more damage, burn down the whole neighborhood and quote, do what I like doing best, killing people. Investigators found a body in the charred rubble of Spangler's home and believe it could be his sister's. Spangler was a convicted felon who served 17 years in prison for killing his own grandmother in 1980. Parts of Texas certainly got a white Christmas today. This was a scene in Dallas right around lunchtime. Just a beautiful sight and I'm sure fun for all the kids. But snow in Texas and cold temperatures almost always make for a travel mess. And the weather is far worse in other parts of the country. CBS's Michelle Miller brings us a tour of the holiday weather mess across the nation. A half foot of snow caused whiteouts on roads across the Texas Panhandle. There were near blizzard conditions at daybreak in Amarillo. 250 miles east, just outside Oklahoma City, a 21 vehicle pileup on Interstate 40 stopped traffic for five hours. 12 people were injured. One state over in Missouri, salt trucks were busy prepping the roads for expected heavy snowfall. Transportation official Mark Shelton warned holiday travelers. And certainly those roads are slick and if you don't have to get out, please don't get out. The storm system caused heavy snow in the Midwest, brought heavy rains and wind to the south, and shrouded the city of Atlanta in fog. At least two reported tornadoes touched down in the Houston area. One man was killed when a toppled tree flattened his pickup truck. 
By mid-afternoon, nearly 70,000 people in the Houston area were without power. Meteorologist David Bernard says it's only going to get worse. This is a wide-ranging storm as far as impacts go. There's a tornado threat in the south all the way into the southeast for tomorrow. North of that, say Arkansas into Tennessee, Indiana, parts of Missouri, and even into Ohio. The threat's going to be for blizzard conditions developing later tonight and tomorrow. And all of that bad weather is tracking east with the bulk of it hitting the eastern seaboard by Wednesday night. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York. What a mess. At least three tornadoes ripped through the Houston area this morning. One of them knocked a tree onto a pickup truck, killing a 25 year old man. He was driving when the tree fell into his vehicle. And in Oklahoma City, here's a closer look at this 21 vehicle pileup. It happened on I-40, and that's close to where it intersects with I-35. Freezing rain made this highway slick and caused a semi to jackknife, causing the chain reaction crash. And check out this video that just came into our newsroom. This is in Mobile, Alabama. A tornado touched down there late this afternoon. There are several reports of damaged homes, downed trees, and downed power lines. But here in Central Texas, I mean, we had some strong winds, but no reports of any injuries. And goodness, the big story here, this 30 degree temperature drop in just a matter of hours. Here's Chief Meteorologist Troy Kimmel to let us know how cold it's going to be for the rest of the week. Big changes, Katie, from the midday today into the late afternoon hours and continues tonight. What's driving all this? We find it best seen in our water vapor imagery satellite, again showing us mid and high level moisture in the atmosphere. And folks, the upper level low, if you look hard enough for it, as I pointed out, 6 o'clock, it's very easy to find. You can find it here over central parts of Arkansas. This is the cold part of the system back out to the west, where cold air is being brought down. The warm part of the system back up here into Alabama. Uh, Katie just showed you the tornado down around Mobile, Alabama. Alabama tonight, and there's been very strong thunderstorm activity, uh, mainly uh, central and uh, southern areas of Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. There's some cooler air in place here, uh, so it's kept it mainly to be rain across the Tennessee Valley, and that's likely to change to snow later on tonight as this low cuts off to the northeast. As it does so, it opens the door again with this counterclockwise circulation to bring more chilly air into south central Texas over the next couple of days. It's also acting to bring those uh, pesky clouds in that have been part of our central Texas landscape since late afternoon to the evening hours. Again, kind of scooting in and getting about halfway down across the area. As the upper level low departs off to the northeast, it'll take this with it. And of course, as the winds die down, it's going to make for a pretty ideal situation for a freeze tonight. Even more likely, I think, for tomorrow night across the area. So planning tomorrow, again, good idea to take jacket along with you. Plenty of sun, no problem there. Highs will peak in the mid-40s from a freeze in the morning to a freeze again tomorrow night across South Central Texas. This is pretty chilly air. North winds into the day tomorrow and more of a northeast or east wind, even a southeast wind after midnight tomorrow night across South Central Texas. Hey, let's look at temperatures right now. We've already got freezing temperatures up in the Round Rock area where it's 31. Pflugerville out on the East Toll Road, it's 32. Main or 32. 33 at Camp Mabry, 32 at Lago Vista, 34 at Lakeway and at Rolling Wood this hour. And again, around the area, Georgetown's at 30. 30 at Burnett as well. Look at that 29 for you folks out there in the Texas Hill Country. Around the Mason area is 31 at Thorndale as well. Meanwhile to the south, a little a uh, little bit uh, longer to get just as cold, but still plenty of chill in the air. By the way, Blanco Johnson City now sitting also at 30 degrees, 36 San Marcos, 33 Lockhart. Friends over in the Bastrop area now at about 35 degrees. Well, the high pressure settling south. The front now uh, moving just about into the Brownsville area where it's still 62 degrees down there. Notice Amarillo at 14, <coughs> pardon me, and 20 degrees right now at Oklahoma City. The uh, storm system off to the east now, so at least the snow's being to taper off across the Red River. We had snow, by the way, reported this evening up at uh, Kilgore, at Longview, at Tyler. It's been snowing pretty heavily up at Texarkana. Even a little snow around Shreveport earlier this evening has turned back to rain since then and about 35 degrees. Again, moving this system out of the way, high pressure settles in. We've got another cold front due by Friday, another one by next Monday. Guess what? No big surprise there. I think they're dry weather systems. They move through without a mention of rain. 27 overnight, cooler in the outlying, low-lying areas. We'll call for a partly cloudy sky, and those winds slowly diminish in the overnight hours. How about sunshine for tomorrow? 
High of 46 and a north wind turning more northeast in the afternoon. Tomorrow night looking for a low around 26. Much cooler in the outlying low-lying areas. An east to southeast wind will pick up the clouds a little bit and cause the temperatures to warm up a little bit late week. There's cold front Friday. A little cooler for the weekend. Another front Monday. And again, keeping temperatures about where they are. Katie, the important thing to note here is there's no precipitation through the end of the year now, at least is the way we're seeing it in the seven-day forecast. I say it a lot of times, people laugh about it. If you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. It's hard to get rain in a drought, and as dry as everything is, we need it so badly, yes. and I just don't see it. Okay, all right, we'll okay. see you about All right, thank you very much, Troy. Well, a warning tonight, if you are planning to return any of your unwanted Christmas gifts, the customer service company did some mystery shopping and found out it will take longer to get a refund at some of the nation's top retailers. So if you're returning online, Sears, JCPenney, and Williams-Sonoma took the longest to give you your money back, up to 16 days in one case. 14 out of 25 retailers took longer to give you money back online. The reason, according to the survey, in a efficiency within the companies. Sears also shortened its return policy from 90 days to 60 days and Target tightened its return policy on computers and other electronics to 30 days. Now when it comes to returning items to a physical store location, most gift return policies remain the same. Well, when it comes to items like electronics, jewelry, and clothing, this was the weakest holiday retail sales year since 2008. According to spending polls, holiday sales increased just 0.7%. Analysts had expected sales growth of 3 to 4 percent. Superstorm Sandy and rising uncertainty about the fiscal cliff are to blame. Well, the holiday season usually means family, food, and for some, a losing fight to stay healthy. Experts say colder weather together with large gatherings of people create prime conditions for things like the cold, the flu, and stomach bugs. But they say there are steps you can take to defend yourself. The biggest thing is going to be, you know, washing the hands, using the hand sanitizer, and uh, just making uh, sure that you're careful uh, with uh, cleanliness. Healthcare professionals say it's also not too late to get a flu shot. Changing space travel. Coming up next, a rocket built right here in Texas that could revolutionize the space industry. Window World. We don't just stand by our windows, we stand on them. The Mazda Zero to Drive event is hitting the holidays where it counts. Right in the savings. Timing couldn't be better to get the gift of Mazda and kick off the new year right. Unwrap huge holiday savings on specially priced 2013 model Mazdas. Like the class-leading Mazda 3 sedan starting at $14,999. Or the all-new CX-5 Sport SUV with Skyactiv technology. $19,998. Additional bonus savings available too. Roger Beasley Mazda. Central, South, Georgetown, and Colleen. Online at GetAMazda.com. For anyone who has wanted to run again, dance again, or simply work or walk again without pain, call Achilles Foot and Ankle Specialists, formerly Barrett Foot and Ankle. Our name is new, but our quality care is still delivered with a personal and gentle touch. Achilles Foot and Ankle Specialists offer minimally a non-invasive state-of-the-art techniques to get you back on your feet faster and with less pain. Call now. Achilles Foot and Ankle Specialists. Well, well, well. Growing up, we didn't have U-verse. We couldn't record four shows at the same time. In my day, you're lucky if you could record two shows. And a mom was recording uh, her dumb show and dad was recording his dumb show then. By George, was all we watched. And we liked it. Today's kids, that is so good. Get U-verse TV with a total home DVR included, free for life. Only $29 a month for six months. Rethink possible. The clock starts online at 12.01 a.m. Wednesday, December 26th. That's when you can shop roomstogo.com. Get great furniture, save big, and pay no interest for five full years until January 2018. That's online starting midnight Wednesday. Or you can shop our stores when they open at 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. Either way, you'll save big on the furniture you want and pay no interest until January 2018. That's five years free interest, all starting midnight Christmas night at Rooms to Go.
one more reason to drive Super Duty. The final days of the Ford year-end celebration. 0% financing for 60 months or up to 6,500 in total savings. Hurry in. It all ends January 2nd. A family who lost their blind dog got her back just in time for Christmas. This is a picture of eight year old Abby with her family in Fairbanks, Alaska. They thought after she ran away during a snowstorm earlier this month, they would never see her again, especially since temperatures fell to 40 below zero. According to the local newspaper, 10 days after she ran away, the town vet saw her curled up on a trail, but she ran off. Well, eventually she showed up at the vet's home amazingly with no signs of frostbite from the cold. Abby didn't have a tag or microchip, but the dog's story had been shared on Facebook so much, and that is how he was able to reunite her with her family. Pretty amazing. Well, a rocket made right here in Texas may have the potential to change space travel as we know it. SpaceX recently launched a successful test flight of its grasshopper rocket. The rocket hovers like a helicopter and lands very softly instead of breaking up. The reusable rocket could save money in the long run. And Adam is here now with uh, sports, and I just love your next story. Uh, when all of us are in our mid-80s, we can only hope to be as fit as Helen Cooper, Cooper Fry. Uh, when we're in our mid-40s, yes, I hope to be this, able to move amazing. like Helen. Helen's next in great. sports, we're going to introduce you to a Central Texas tennis player who is proving that it's true. Age is just a number. From KITV News, Happy Holidays. something new this holiday. Season's best event from Cadillac. Visit Covert Cadillac or AustinCadillac.com for this attractive offer. What's helping power our state? Natural gas from Texas for Texans. A cleaner way to power our lives. Almost half of our electricity comes from natural gas, keeping energy bills lower while reducing pollution. Thanks to the reliability of natural gas, companies large and small are bringing jobs back home to Texas. And decades of technological advances help ensure natural gas is developed safely and responsibly. Texas Natural Gas Now. From Texas for Texans. to follow the GPS. I'll just ask this guy. Excuse me, sir! Do you know where this is? The Infinity G sedan. Because luxury should inspire confidence. It's not from around here. No matter what road you take, visit the Infinity Limited Engagement Winter Event to place a G sedan for only $2.99 a month. Infinity Inspired Performance. Getting the wrong diagnosis for a hand or arm injury can lead to much deeper trouble. The complex system of bones, tendons, nerves, and muscles in your upper extremities demands specialized attention from the beginning. So call a specialist at Brown Hand Center first, day or night, because just any emergency room won't do. Get your hand or arm back to their maximal function with the right treatment at the right place. Call Brown Hand Center today. Texas is the Lone Star State for a reason. It stands apart, stands strong, like the Ram 1500 Lone Star, the only truck that comes standard with a Hemi V8, 20-inch wheels, and dual exhaust. If you're going to stand tall in Texas, you better have the goods to back it up. Get 8200 in total values on the 2012 Ram 1500 Lone Star Crew Cab, voted Truck of Texas. TV Sports. This week, as we celebrate Santa Claus, St. Nick is not the only one who came down from the north to bring excitement to Texas. Helen Cooper Fry was born in San Antonio, but spent four decades in Canada. She's been back south for a few years, and now she's holding court here in the Lone Star State. Austin is known for having people do big things with strings. Helen Cooper Fry is no exception but she's making a racket with a different instrument. I did other sports, baseball, basketball, volleyball, but tennis, just, just, I just loved tennis from the very start. 
Cooper Fry, who is 84 years young, is also a tennis champion. See, in late November, the Austin oh. resident helped Team Texas win the 2012 USTA National Intersectional Hardcourt title. This came one year after finishing second. Our goal was to win first this year. Oh, and her squad is composed solely of ladies in their 80s. We beat Florida in the finals, and so we got first place. And here's, here's my medal. Other than her secret weapon, a dink return, Cooper Fry says her biggest strength is good genes. <laughs> my mother, she wanted to outlive her sister who lived till 95, so, so she did. She also takes tremendous care of her body, resting her back every day in the same way at the same time. My friends and family don't call Helen. During one to three, she's resting her back, you know. <laughs> Helen turns 85 next July. So what about defending that national title? If they invite me to be on the Texas team next year, I'll, I'll do it. I'll be there as long as they want me. It sounds like these strings have a few more verses left in them. To football now, according to the Sports Business Journal, just for making it to the Alamo Bowl, Longhorns players be given an iPad mini, a fossil watch, and a $100 Best Buy gift card, along with a few other goodies. But according to Mac Brown, UT owes the city of San Antonio something. See, the last time UT played in San Antonio was 2006. The Horns were one year removed for the national championship and were breaking in a redshirt freshman quarterback by the name of Colt McCoy. Now going to back-to-back -back Rose Bowls, only to land in the Alamo Bowl the following season. As you can imagine, UT was a little bummed, but that's where San Antonio stepped in. Nearly all the parents will be here, uh, our players' parents for the game. There are very few tickets available uh, for them because they were so excited. And I remember in 06, we were coming off the national championship. We had a tough loss to A&M and, and came here, and we were all down and disappointed. And, and the city and, and South Texas picked us up. It was so much fun. In 06, Texas beat Iowa 26-24 to finish the season 10-3. and Troy's back with a final check on your very chilly forecast after the break. World famous Harlem Globetrotters. January 24th and 25th. Did Santa leave you a gift card you won't use? Bring it in to Ashley Furniture Home Store the day after Christmas for one day only. Double the value of any unwanted, unused gift card. Or get no interest till 2017, the day after Christmas at Ashley Furniture Home Store. Welcome to Toyota Thon, biggest sales event of the year. I'm Jan. I hear now's a great time to get a truck. Well, it is. We have two very rugged and dependable trucks. Oh, well, I need one that can handle my boat. The Tundra towed the shuttle Endeavor weighing about 300,000 pounds. What's your boat weigh? It's, it's, let's see. Let's see. Now's the time to visit your local Toyota dealer. Get 0% APR for 72 months plus $2,000 bonus cash on a 2012 Tundra Crew Max Texas Edition built right here in San Antonio. Toyota Thon is on, but you better hurry. This event ends soon. Welcome to Chevy's year-end event. So the 5.3-liter V8 Silverado can tow up to 9,600 pounds. 315 horsepower. What's that in reindeer power? <laughs> See your Austin area Chevy dealers. Get the best offer of the year. 0% APR financing for 60 months plus $1,000 holiday bonus cash. Plus trade up for an additional $1,000 trade-in allowance. Hurry, bonus cash ends January 2nd. It's the Ross After Christmas Clearance. Thousands of new markdowns. Save up to 75% compared to department stores. Better hurry to Ross before it's all gone. This is it. The lowest prices of the year through Monday at the original Nile Maxwell. During our multi-million dollar inventory reduction event with thousands in additional red tag savings. Just 15 minutes east of Round Rock on Highway 79. Happy holidays from the KITV Traffic Center. This holiday season, make a resolution to hug more. Corners, that is. Hurry in to the BMW Happier New Year event and make a resolution you want to keep. Receive your holiday credit of up to $3,500 on select models and take advantage of no-cost maintenance on all new BMWs. What could be better than Santa? For one day only, get door busters like this sofa for $1.99. Or 50% off this beauty rest mattress set. Or no interest till 2017. Ashley Furniture Home Store is better than Santa. Everything old is new again. One of the 
hottest fashion trends is vintage, and we'll show you how you can do it for a dollar a day. Ricky Lake Show. On the all-new Ricky Lake Show. Tomorrow at 4 on KITV. At Capital Kia, make your car payments in 2013. One lucky winner, 12 monthly payments, regardless if you purchase from us. Register to win at 183 in Andersonville, just in front of the Water Tower, and shop us online at CapitalKia.net. And remember, if I can't beat a new car key deal in Texas, I'm just going to give it to you. A lot of surprise people with these uh, low temperatures. My family went to the annual, their annual Christmas movie, and they all went in with T-shirts yeah. and shorts. <laughs> and then they came out, and they were just wow. shocked yeah. by how much it had dropped in a couple hours. And it's going to be chilly over the next couple of days. Looking for a freeze tomorrow morning. Again, 46 for a high tomorrow, 26 tomorrow night. A little warmer by the end of the week. All right, next on The Late Show with David Letterman, Scarlett Johansson, and Austin's own Willie Nelson. We all hope you had a very Merry Christmas. Good night. Join your favorite superstars for the Kennedy Center Honors. CBS Wednesday. From New York, the greatest city in the world, it's The Late Show with David Letterman. Tonight, Scarlett Johansson, Willie Nelson, and music from Gary Clark Jr. Plus Paul Schaefer and the CBS Orchestra. Okay. All right, settle down. This ain't a Walmart. <laughs> All right. Um, here's a little tip. Thanksgiving, we love, can't wait for Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> Tomorrow, so at midnight tonight, here's what you do. You set your scales back 10 pounds. Uh, I'm glad you folks are here. Uh, holidays in New York City. I think the best time to be here. Honest to God, isn't it a great place? I, I, I will say this. Uh, traffic in New York City is worse than any traffic I've ever seen in my entire life, especially during the holidays. Every, I'll tell you what, it's like, you know what it's like? It reminds me of Chris Christie. What? How does it remind, <laughs> how does it remind me of Chris Christie? Oh. The holiday traffic here oh. in New York City, I'll tell you how. It reminds me of Chris Christie. Every major artery is clogged. Ah, it's hot. Every major artery. <laughs> Won't go down. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, I hope you can't tell, but I'm crying on the inside. This is the first year I won't be able to make my famous Twinkie stuffing. Yeah. <laughs> You know what's going on? Hostess uh, Foods, Hostess, uh, the people that made the Wonder Bread, and uh, it's a wonder people ate it. Um, <laughs> they're, they're shutting down. Uh, they're having a labor uh, trouble. Uh, the unions and the management is screwing them, and as a result, you get no uh, Wonder Bread, you get no Twinkies, you get no none of the Ho-Hos. Here's the latest announcement now on how things are going at Hostess Bakeries. Watch. If a deal is made between striking bakers and management, production would resume of Hostess's most famous products, including Twiggies, Ding Dongs, Ho Ho's, Snowballs, Zingers, Yub Yubs, Chocologs, Hoopers, Jimbly Nibs, Wing Wangs, Q Zerps, and Wingly Wingly Chim Cham Zippy Woo Woos. Hostess. Uh huh. Hostess. You like it when your family comes over and uh, you have people you haven't seen all year? You like it to have the family come over to the house? I know you're lying. Oh, no. I, I love my family. God bless each and every one of them. But there's certain things you get tired of. My brother-in-law, for example, every year he hits me up for something he calls seed money. Ah. <laughs> seed money. Well, all right. Seed 
Uh, we're having a big family dinner. Then, uh, then I think nine o'clock uh, we head out to Walmart. Yes. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, I think about it. Nothing says a holiday cheer like crushing credit card debt, does it? <laughs> you know what? Um, uh, Black Friday is the, the biggest retail day of the year, and, and it's when all of the retail uh, sales have their big uh, Black Friday sales. <laughs> I, they're having a sale. Uh, I saw this on television and online. Oh. I saw, yeah. Both places. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The chasm of plausibility is widening with every breath. Wow. Where did you see it? What are you talking about? We don't know. For God's sakes, tell the damn joke and get out of here. I saw this. I saw this weird sale. Mm, take a look. Mitt Romney losing the election may be bad news for Republicans, but it means low Black Friday prices for you. That's right. The official Romney Ryan online store is offering holiday discounts on bumper stickers, Romney Ryan pins, khakis, hair products, crooked voting machines, more khakis, yacht wax, mm. and mom jeans. The official Romney Ryan online store. We did it. Yacht wax. And there, uh, Macy's is all excited because uh, uh, they got uh, three new balloons, three new balloons this year. So people who are really fond of cartoon character balloons, well, jot these down. <laughs> new this year, Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat. Please. Hold your apathy until all the ah. balloons have been announced. Cat in the Hat. Cat in the hat. Elf on a Shelf. Elf on a shelf, mitt in a snit. Thank you very much. Guess, listen to this, guess who's flying in from the Cayman Islands to be with Mitt Romney and his family? Guess who's flying in from the Cayman Islands? His money. Uh, his money is flying in. Uh huh. Mitt in a snit. Yeah. <laughs> My nine-year-old son wrote that. I guess. Good joke. Good joke. Uh, you folks, uh, when I say post office, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> well, you know, so much of communication these days is electronic or what they call email. And the post office is struggling to survive. I mean, to me, it's a miracle. Uh, you put a stamp on an envelope and you say, see, I want to send it to Paul. Uh, and it goes right to Paul. It's amazing that people can do that. Now, my email, I think I have a, a, a my, I think my server uh, has a virus. Because my email, uh, I get it uh, once a day, a guy delivers me, comes up and delivers me my email. So, um... <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> You're not going to believe what I saw. I saw a commercial uh, for the post office. I thought this was odd. You think that last thing was odd? Yeah. What, what was that last Whatever thing? It was, that Whatever. I can't remember what it was. Compare. Yeah. Well, no. Don't want to even compare to that Mitt Romney sale. <laughs> this will make that look like a student.